Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss result of this complex power series. So we have one power series here. Summation n z minus z not raised to n. So the given thing is that series is convergent for some point z1. Okay. So let me mention the given thing first. We have. So here we have a power series. This is our power series, right? And is convergent for z is equal to z1. The mention thing is that z1 should be different from z0. It means there are two points. The first is z0 and the second is z1. See, both are distinct. So they have mentioned the power series around z0. See, it is around z0. It's convergent for z1. Convergent for z1, that means if you put z1, the corresponding series is convergent. Series convergent, that means sum is finite. So if you put z is equal to z1 here, we get the sum of series is finite and we say it is convergent. This is a given information. What we have to prove, let me show here. See, first of all, I will draw the diagram. See, they have defined R1 as mod Z1 minus Z0. So we have two distinct points. So definitely there will be some positive distance between them. They have called it as R1. After that, we consider a ball, open ball around Z0 with radius R1. So this is a ball we have. So this theorem says if you take any point Z from this ball, then that for that point Z, the above series or the given series is absolutely convergent. Absolutely convergent means what? If you apply mod, then also the series is convergent. So let me mention what we have to prove exactly. To prove that summation n running from 0 to infinity, the series we have is absolutely convergent for all z belongs to that ball, okay, which center z0 radius r1. Absolutely convergent, that means if you apply mod, then also the series is convergent. So let me mention here, that is to prove that summation, this series, okay. So if you apply mod, series will be like this. So it's convergent, we have to prove that it is convergent for all z, for each z belongs to this ball, right? Okay, so this thing we have to prove. So obviously we have to start with a given information. So let us do. So yes, we have some space. Let us use. What is the given information? This series is convergent for Z1. We have, so the information is this series, okay, is convergent for Z is equal to Z1. See, it is convergent for z is equal to z1 means if you replace z by z1, then also the series is convergent. So, implies series a n z1 minus z0 raised to n is convergent. So, we know that if you have any convergent series, then the corresponding sequence is bounded. So, this is convergent series. So, we can say the corresponding sequence. Therefore, let me mention, therefore, the sequence a n z1 minus z0 raised to n is bounded. So we are familiar with a bounded sequence. Bounded sequence means what? There exists a positive real number m such that mod of each term is less than or equal to m. So that thing also I'm going to mention. Just make a screenshot of it so I can go further. So that sequence is bounded. So therefore we can write therefore there exists a positive real number m such that mod, see, so whatever I've written, I'm writing the same. Its mod is less than or equal to m and this is true for n running from, okay? So for n running from 0, 1, 2 and so on infinity. So this is so much important thing we have got. So let me call this inequality as 1, okay? So we are going to use it later. So let us go to the next point that is they have mentioned our point should be from that ball open ball okay so let us take one point here so let me mention we have we have a point here 
z belongs to that ball okay so what is center of that ball z dot what is radius r1 so if any point lies inside a ball let me show here if you have a such ball with center z not radius r1 if you have any point here if you have any point here then distance of that point from z not is obviously less than its radius so we have a point from a ball so its distance from a center is less than its radius right but what is value of r1 this one so let us put it here mod z minus z not less than mod z1 minus z not let us shift this term here this is positive real number so we will have like this mod z minus z not upon z1 minus z not see it cannot be zero since our z1 and z not are two distinct uh, complex numbers so therefore there there will be some uh, non zero distance getting so this is less than 1 so i am calling it as rho so it gives a positive real number so i am calling it as rho okay see non negative real number so i am calling it as rho so this is rho less than 1 where where what is our rho our rho is mod z minus z not upon z1 minus z not this is our rho this is a second informa important information so let me call it as 2 so let me remove this part it is not required just a minute let me remove that part so let us consider now consider i am considering the mod of a series mod n so this series we have so yes mod z minus z not rest to n so i am considering a mod actually uh, my target is to prove the series is absolutely convergent so here i am going to use comparison test so for that reason i have consider the mod of that part right let us go further a small adjustment i am going to do i am going to multiply this one by z1 minus z0 rest to n and i will divide by the same it means i want to write in this way mod an z1 minus z0 rest to n z minus z0 rest to n divided by z1 minus z0 rest to n you can easily see see both are same right so yeah if you cancel you will have the previous step you know that if there is a multiplication we can take separate separate mod that means mod an z1 minus z0 rest to n and this one mod see you can uh, take a common power n so we can write in this way also mod z minus z0 upon z1 minus z0 whole rest to n see have you seen it any view we have seen that part somewhere here getting so we have already got it's less than or equal to m so we can mention less than or equal to m and we are familiar with this mod also that is nothing but our rho getting that that is nothing but our rho so we can write this is rho rest to n so here we got mod of this part is less than or equal to m rho rest to n m is positive real number rho is again see rho is mod so that so it cannot be negative and rest to n we have so therefore so i should mention here here summation m rho rest to n and running from 0 to infinity is a geometric series it's a geometric series getting so we got a geometric series here with common ratio common ratio rho see is common ratio uh, rho and which is less than 1 we have already proved in 2 so which is less than 1 so rho less than 1 so we know that if you have a geometric series of real numbers and its common ratio is less than 1 then it's a convergent series so that's why we can say this is a convergent series make a screenshot of it then i will go further so therefore therefore summation this series m rho rest to n is convergent series so basically this is the geometric series with common ratio less than 1 so that's why it's a convergent series and see it is greater than or equal to this one so by comparison test we can say this is also convergent series so therefore by comparison test comparison test what can we write that summation n running from 0 to infinity 
that a n z minus z naught is to n is absolutely convergent series. It is absolutely convergent series for each z belongs to that ball. Get it? Since we have chosen any arbitrary point z from that ball and we got the series is absolutely convergent. So therefore, in this way, we proved that the given series is given power series is convergent for each z belongs to ball. So the proof is over here. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.